Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Um, I've been doing a lot of video blogs lately and I'm doing a video interview later in the day. So I thought I'd take a chance. I did a little home office tour last week showing you guys the setup uh, I've got for working from home. And in this video, I wanted to show what I consider to be um, the gear or the gear that I find really, really helpful for uh, creating, uh, doing video interviews from your home. If you're being invited to speak on a vlog or a podcast or a video podcast, uh, just the few pieces of hardware I find really helpful. So from a webcam standpoint, I've been using the Logitech C930 for about the last year and a half. This is a business grade uh, 1080p webcam from Logitech. I'll just hold it up so you can see it a little bit better against the screen. But so that's that's great in my opinion. I'm not really sold on the idea of 4K webcams because I think for, you know, if you're using even something like Riverside.fm, it's... Um, you're going to be compressing the video feed as it goes up across the cloud and you're not going to be really getting all the resolution out of your webcam. Um, I think 1080p is really good enough for a lot of video interview work and stuff like that. Yeah, you're going to get better results if you use a... Uh, the, the limitation on any webcam, right? Any device that's designed to plug straight into your computer over USB is they're pretty small and small means a small sensor size. So you're gonna get better results if you use a DSLR or a uh, even a camcorder that can run into USB generally. But for most uh, basic projects, this will meet the bill. Now the thing I have it up on is a Logi, uh, sorry, Ulanzi MT34 multifunctional tripod. These are literally my fav favorite pieces of uh, camera gear. They're just so useful. I bought about four of them. The reason I say that is because they do a lot of things. They have a uh, tripod base, but that pulls out. So you can use these as a selfie stick um, if you're on the go. They lock off, they're telescopic, and they have a, a ball bearing here at the top that you unlock using this. So you can also, you can, you can toggle it in all directions. So this really is uh, extremely useful for me, especially if you're traveling, these will compact down and you can put them in your luggage versus let's say, uh, and they do make some great, uh, you know, fixtures that you can have something like what I have my uh, lights on, the scissor switches. So these exist for webcams. I mean, these aren't specific to lighting. It's just a quarter inch head. You could put a light here. You could put a microphone here, whatever. And this just uh, screws down, uh, physically clamps onto my desk. But the benefit of using something like this is that you can just, if you want to keep your desk uncluttered, and I'm not saying my desk is uncluttered, um, these really, you can just pull them out when you're doing a video interview, whatever, fold them back down and save space. I'll just show you guys trying to use my, whoops, my hand here. Uh, this is where it telescopes and you literally just can pull this out to, it goes a surprising height. So that's it kind of extended up to um, really a decent height and it's a wide angle camera. So you can do a lot with a webcam. Just make sure that your webcam has a quarter inch at the bottom because that's where it'll attach to this and that will open up a lot of doors for you in terms of angles and look it folds all the way down so super useful uh, thing to have the second thing i do is i almost never use the built-in webcam audio for doing an interview especially so i tend to just use a lavalier microphone when i'm doing uh, video interviews or my youtube vlogs sometimes i'll use a podcasting microphone that's why i have a audio interface here on my desk at behringer Euphoria UM2 opens up a lot of doors in terms of microphones. Um, and the other thing is if you're doing a group call, uh, I find these Jabber devices great. They're speaker phones and microphones for intended for kind of conference rooms and stuff like that. Uh, these all work out of the box with Zoom, even on Ubuntu Linux. And if you're doing, if you have like two or three people in the room, this type of microphone is great. It'll really pick up, that's what it's supposed to do. It'll pick up the whole room and you'll get uh, a really, really nice audio quality over the speakerphone. And the final ingredient, you have video, sound, and lighting. So for lighting, I have two lights on my, attached to my, sorry, behind my monitor array here. One on the right and one on the left. I tend to only use the left fill light. This is an LED panel I picked up on Amazon and it generally gets me enough light. It's not quite as granular as I'd like, uh, which is a negative, but it does a trick and it's remote controllable. So I have, I keep this remote control on my desk and I literally always use this when I'm doing a, even a regular Zoom call. Lighting is a thing that'll really, really uh, improve just the video, especially when you're dealing with the webcam because webcams, something like this, a Logitech, it's a small sensor, so the low light performance really suffers. So whatever you can do to 
help the webcam capture good video by improving your lighting. So if you don't have enough lighting from ambient conditions, add a bit of lighting. One, two, you could probably add a third light there. I think it would probably be overkill. I've heard that two is enough. So sometimes I'll add a little bit of lighting to fill, to fill this side of my face, but almost always, and this is a remote control, it's got a toggle for the brighting strength, and it's got a toggle for color temperature. So I've turned it on there and I can just play around with, that's me turning down the lighting and that's me turning off. And it gets really, really bright. This is throwing a ton of light coming at me from that direction. And then as you say, sometimes I fill in from there. I keep my webcam going in the center, lav mic here, or Jabra if, it's, if I'm not recording for multicam. Uh, that was the brightness and this is the color temperature toggle. Oh, sorry, color temperature. So there we're going for a more kind of changing up the color temperature. And that's it. That's uh, what I find really makes a difference in terms of getting better uh, quality Zoom calls and better quality video recordings from your home. Webcam, light, sound.